coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Breaking news, Delta Hawk DHK-180 engine earns FAA certification. FAA publishes B-17 NPRM in Federal Register. USAF F-15D Eagle in Oregon Irrigation Ditch. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Breaking news, Delta Hawk DHK-180 engine earns FAA certification. A long time coming? Yes, but a new generation of power plants has just been certified with the long-awaited news that the Delta Hawk DHK-180 has received FAA certification and is on its way to production of the jet-fueled aircraft piston engine. The 180-horsepower DHK-180 is the first of a family of engines expected to come from Delta Hawk. Featuring an inverted V engine block, turbocharging and supercharging, mechanical fuel injection, liquid cooling, direct drive, and 40% fewer moving parts than other engines in its category, the new Delta Hawk engine is a clean sheet design secured by multiple patents. It is highly responsive and produces more usable torque than traditional aircraft engines in its class, all while burning significantly less fuel and with a resulting lower net carbon footprint. Its performance characteristics are extremely well suited to a wide variety of conventional aircraft, as well as those powered by hybrid propulsion systems. In addition, the engine's slimmer shape and smaller size reportedly allows for more aerodynamic cowling designs and requires less space, all while providing what the company terms as an extraordinary performance, ease of operation, and unmatched reliability. The engine is environmentally friendly as well, thanks to its ability to burn both Jet A and sustainable aviation jet fuels. First engine deliveries are expected to commence in 2024. And coming up after the break, Virgin Galactic readies for May 25th space flight. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Virgin Galactic readies for May 25th spaceflight. Virgin Galactic will attempt a full-on suborbital flight of its Unity spacecraft. Subject undertaking, dubbed Unity 25, occasions the company's fifth extra atmospheric junket and is slated to launch from Virgin Galactic Spaceport America facility in New Mexico on May 25th. By way of objective, the mission seeks to convey astronauts Luke Mays, Christopher Huey, Jamila Gilbert, and Beth Moses spaceward for purpose of conducting a final assessment of the full Virgin Galactic spaceflight and astronaut experience prior to the surprisingly rapid commencement of commercial services in late June 2023. FedEx Pilots Authorized Strike FedEx Express pilots voted overwhelmingly in support of a strike, were such an action forced by FedEx management and deemed necessary by union leaders. All but 1% of the 97% of FedEx Express pilots who participated in the vote authorized union leaders to call a strike if needed for purpose of achieving a new contractual agreement with FedEx. Negotiations with FedEx management commenced in May 2021, and the pilot's contract became amendable in November 2021. Protracted and fruitless, the negotiations stalled and entered mediation in October 2022. Reliable Robotics conducts autonomous flight demo at Travis AFB. Reliable Robotics reports that it had during the recent Golden Phoenix readiness exercise at Travis Air Force Base demonstrated capabilities by which the United States Air Force stands to contemporaneously up the modernity of its aircraft fleet and better project safe, rapid global mobility. During the demonstration flight, the company's remotely operated aircraft system successfully executed an end-to-end -end automated mission, including auto taxi, auto takeoff, climb out, and auto landing. An onboard test pilot monitored but took no active part in the undertaking. U.S. Aviation Academy launches San Marcos, Texas campus. 
The U.S. Aviation Academy has launched its second airframe and power plant training location at San Marcos Regional Airport, a public-use airport in southeast-central Texas's Caldwell County. U.S. Aviation Academy's new FAA Part 147 approved aircraft mechanic school will host its first class in June 2023. The facility's a and program spans an intensive 12 months, a veritable sprint viewed against competing institutions' curricula, which typically stretch over two years. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA publishes B-17 NPRM in Federal Register. The FAA has published a notice of proposed rulemaking germane to the adoption of a new airworthiness directive specific to the B-17. Pursuant docket number FAA 2023-1048, project identifier AD 2023-00620AT, amendment 39-22440, AD 2023-1004, relating to airworthiness directives Boeing airplanes, the FAA sets forth, quote, the FAA is adopting a new airworthiness directive for all Boeing model B-17E, B-17F, and B-17G airplanes. This AD was prompted by a report indicating that the left front spar lower fitting had completely separated at the wing to fuselage joint, and the equivalent joint on the right side of the airplane was cracked. This AD requires inspection of the wing terminal to spar cord joints and repair if necessary. The FAA is issuing this AD to address the unsafe condition on these products." End quote. As the NPRM was published in the U.S. Federal Register on May 17, the FAA is currently accepting public comments pertaining to such. Comments pertaining to the B-17 NPRM must be received within 45 days of May 17, 2023. The AD also requires repairing cracking and corrosion and sending all inspection results, both positive and negative, to the FAA. And after these messages, USAF F-15D Eagle in Oregon Irrigation Ditch. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. USAF F-15D Eagle in Oregon Irrigation Ditch. On May 15, 2023, a United States Air Force F-15D returning from a routine training mission in Daikabu weather touched down upon, then departed the paved surface of runway 14 at Southern Oregon's Crater Lake Klamath Regional Airport, coming to rest in a Bureau of Reclamation Irrigation Canal south of the airfield. A photograph provided by the USAF's 173rd Fighter Wing shows the badly damaged, partially submerged F-15 marooned transversely across the canal, its nose embedded in the waterway's south bank. In a post-incident statement, 173rd Fighter Wing Vice Commander Colonel Michael Lambert set forth, quote, We don't believe the aircraft is leaking any petroleum products based on our initial assessment of the water in the canal. Minimizing the environmental impact is one of our main priorities. We have taken precautionary measures and placed absorbent booms around the aircraft to prevent the flow of fuel or other substances downstream in the event there is a leakage, end quote. According to a USAF statement, the F-15 instructor pilot aboard the May 15 LMT accident aircraft exited the jet with minor injuries and was precautionarily evaluated at Sky Lakes Medical Center. The airman has since been released. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.